Blackbeard, Captain Kidd, the Gentleman Pirate. In the now defunct year 2022, director Taika Waititi directed a surprise costume romantic comedy about the life of pirates, Our Flag Means Death, for audiences around the world. So, for those who, for whatever reason, have not yet watched it, let us briefly outline the historical plot of the series. And action! <laughs> The time of action is 1717. Aristocrat Steve Bonnet leaves his estate, family, wife, and children, buys a ship and calls it revenge to go pirating. Steve Bonnet went down in history as a gentleman pirate. He hires a crew for his ship that gets paid regardless of the success of the pirate company. The crew of the revenge was 70 men. Initially, Steed announced that he was going on a trade voyage, but after capturing and plundering several ships, the main purpose of the expedition finally became clear. Three, two, one, action! <laughs> to become big and a recognizable brand, Steed heads to the Republic of Pirates, formerly a republic under the British crown in the West Indies. But in the golden age of piracy, it was a corner of freedom from the rules and laws of the crown. On his way to the Republic, he was severely wounded in a fight with a Spanish warship. To the aid of the pirate gentleman came the famous, then and now, Pirate Edward Teach, nicknamed Blackbeard. The gentleman pirate, I presume. I've heard all about you. Incidentally, Steve Bonnet, a pirate and gentleman at the time of the events described, was 29 years old, while Blackbeard was 37. After his injury, Steve couldn't continue to lead his crew and Blackbeard took over as captain of the Revenge after almost a year. When Steed finally recovered, Blackbeard stepped down from the leadership and later left the bonnet, along with the mature pirate left almost all the crew of the pirate gentleman. Action. Well, now about the show itself. <laughs> Perhaps none of the critics were expecting anything outstanding from our flag means death. Like many, I, too, thought it was a simple costume adaptation about 18th century life and the mores and ways of pirates. But Taika Waititi was able to break those stereotypes. He took a very different look at the formation of Steed Bonnet and the bromance between Steed and Blackbeard. He tried to understand himself and to make the audience understand that not all pirates are only murderers and thugs showed the modern viewer an original view on the self-development of sea wolves and the reasons of their exasperation, be it their difficult childhood, teenagers' complexes, or just the necessity to risk, rob, and even kill. And all this with a real historical background and modern humor. One is imbued with love and sympathy for the main characters, experiencing for them, despite the illegality of their pirate activities. And even not the main characters are written and played in such a way that brings a good smile to the viewer. I don't think this will be a big spoiler for the series and maybe the genius of Taika Waititi won't allow it, but in 1718, 30-year-old Steed Bonnet was arrested, he tried to escape but was captured. Later tried and found guilty and sentenced to execution. On December 10, 1718, the pirate gentleman was hanged at White Point. What shows did you enjoy in 2022? Or maybe you're looking forward to some new releases in 2023. We'll try to tell you more on the Brain Detox YouTube channel. That's called passive aggression. You have such an interesting manner of eating. It's diabolical. <laughs>